All right, welcome everyone on YouTube uh, channel Sensoneo. Uh, my name is Peter Knaz. I'm the sales director uh, in Sensoneo. And today I will guide you through solution um, talking about automation of uh, waste in logistics, uh, in manufacturing or uh, facility uh, management uh, waste. Uh, today's webinar will start um, with a short introduction of Sensoneo. And I'm really excited um, of everyone who uh, is watching the webinar, uh, whether you are at your homes or you are in your offices um, or you are in, co in a coffee shop uh, working remotely or someone on the beach. Uh, that's a better situation than mine now. So uh, wish you all health and um, hopefully you will enjoy today. And um, please, uh, if you have um, a little bit of time, uh, add your comment on the YouTube, uh, like our YouTube channel, and uh, let us know who you are. Uh, tell us the company or tell us uh, uh, which sector you are working in, uh, whether you are a system integrator, uh, whether you are um, you know, a, a factory manager um, or facility manager. And uh, you know, we'll be happy for any feedback. And also, if you have any questions uh, during the time of the webinar, uh, please feel free to uh, put them into the comments. Now, uh, even you are watching this uh, webinar offline, uh, please feel free to uh, input your comments, input your questions. I will try to, uh, you know, with the with the distance of time, uh, reply uh, these kind of queries, um, or just uh, you know, um, write us an email on our um, general address or through our website. I will get back to you with your with your answers. So thanks a lot, and we'll start now. So uh, Sensoneo is a, a you know very um, young and uh, innovative company. Uh, we are working very hard to enable um, smart waste management solution for global markets. Uh, we started in 2014, um, so we have six seven years uh, behind us, and uh, we have a great team, and um, you know great uh, projects uh, to work on uh, during this period, which actually proved us on the market, um, not only by uh, us winning many prizes um, in innovation, but also to really help uh, with uh, waste management to many uh, companies, whether it's a collection company or it's municipality, or it would be a concrete facility uh, management. So um, Sensoneo, on our, on our trip, you know, we go through all the software development. We go through our own hardware development. We have our own hardware development team and our hardware really uh, top-notch uh, quality enables our software uh, and data to flow um, very continuously and without uh, interruptions. Uh, so I, I can say we are one of the leaders um, in smart waste management uh, solution on the market, including uh, uh, combination with our hardware. Uh, our advantage is, uh, as I mentioned, uh, you know, strong software, uh, very strong hardware, uh, which is network agnostic. We can support different kind of networks in different countries. Um, and also our strong partner network is not only partners that actually resell our solution, but it's also system integrators. It's also telco companies, uh, distribution partners, and uh, other partners just like, uh, you know, producers, manufacturers of, uh, waste bins and uh, and dumpsters so um, you know also if you are a partner and um, you would like to partner with Sensoneo and resell our solution in your particular country please reach to us and we'll be happy to uh, you know work with you uh, to enable our solution in your country in your municipality or uh, with your clients so company is providing different pillars of the solution. The first pillar, I would say, uh, we call it asset management. Asset management is creating you uh, an opportunity to actually book all your uh, deployment of bins within the municipality or lo your location, uh, which you need. Uh, we combine that with our uh, top-notch hardware of Watchdog, um, which can you know, uh, do the proof of service um, by scanning the RFIDs, but you have the full, um, asset management inside our system uh, as well. So uh, this is one of the pillars. 
uh, within this pillar, uh, I would skip the waste monitoring, go to route planning directly. You can optimize uh, the routes uh, according to your um, to your uh, need of the waste collection, uh, regardless is um, a door to door collection, uh, curbside collection, or then it would be uh, Co uh, collection on the request based on the sensor data, which we uh, provide as well. Uh, with that route planning, uh, we enable the driver navigation. We enable uh, inputs of your, um, you know, situations, feedbacks from the driver as well. Everything flows very smoothly into our data platform and integrates under one system. Uh, waste monitoring pillar is very important and is our key uh, pillar in our system that integrates sensors and our software to get really super efficient uh, collection based on the demand, demand from that bin. What's the level of the, of the waste in the bin? Um, what's, the, what's the timing uh, for you to go and pick it up? What's the route to go there? So combining waste monitoring and route planning, having the driver uh, to follow the driver navigation from bin to bin uh, as it's planned based on the um, fill level uh, and the need of the pickups. Um, be besides these three pillars, uh, which will be kind of integrating hardware and software, we also work very hard to enable multiple systems uh, for our customers uh, in different segments. So it can be um, a system, for example, in uh, uh, more like industrial, industrial systems for early overflow warning. Uh, with, again, our sensor connecting to our platform. Uh, then second one would be factory or facility waste management. That's the one we are talking about today. Um, and then another uh, more software-enabled products like product, producer responsibility system or uh, collection point uh, management as well. So Sensonio creates an ecosystem of solutions where uh, anything, any single waste collection company, municipality, uh, facility, uh, manager would find uh, a piece of solution uh, for them. So uh, if you if you have any need of solving certain waste problems, just contact us and we'll be happy to help you. What enables us to be so strong? It's the need for data. So everyone who has data can make really good decisions. So not having the data means you don't know what you are doing or you are doing something just by a guess. So Sensonio is enabling you to have a reliable data and to make a reliable and truly good decisions with what we have. So now we come to facility or, waste, uh, or factory waste management. So how do we generate the waste at the facilities or factories? Uh, there are multiple uh, production steps which do generate different kind of waste. It can be a packaging, it can be cutting, it can be clipping, it can be uh, you know taping, uh, unpacking of materials, different protection materials. It can be waste oil or waste paint from the paint shop. Um, it can be you know hordes of uh, car boxes and uh, uh, you know polystyrene material from packaging as well in the logistics centers. Um, so having these items um, properly properly managed and properly organized uh, is, is a big problem. It's a big challenge for um, all the facility managers and also all the contractors that actually take care of this waste. There are a huge amount of resources actually spent by treating the waste or uh, you know handling the waste as well. So where we see that problem? We can see that problem in manufacturing. We can see the problem in warehouses, office buildings, even shopping malls. Another big uh, category would be hospitals. They deal with the dangerous waste as well, uh, especially in these times. And full bins are already, always a problem, especially air, airports as well, train stations. But imagine a use case of uh, you know manufacturing, having every single uh, station to produce certain type of waste. That you don't want to have operator to spend time on uh, monitoring how much waste we actually, he actually produced or you don't want to have that uh, person or responsible for waste collection to be running around all the time. Uh, another one case in hospitals. After the surgery, there is a lot of contaminated waste. How about having it automated? Just by click of the button, you know that, okay, this surgery uh, ended. Uh, there can be a facility person to come and uh, take care of this uh, dangerous waste as well. 
So the biggest challenges which we, uh, you know, which we discuss with our clients um, in um, manufacturing or even uh, facility management is uh, the first thing was the delayed collection of overflowing bins. So uh, you have a very nice flow production. Uh, you try to be, you know, um, you know, Six Sigma production line without any uh, risk of interruption. But then you have a guy running around with his uh, small cart or small train uh, looking into the bins and, uh, c and cleaning the bins. What if he actually came there only when it's needed? So this is one of the biggest challenges in the production. Number second would be, number two would be unnecessary collection of half empty bins. Again, he comes there, he's not effective if he's collecting it, if it's not needed. The third one, he's taking unnecessary routes to that place. So uh, he's wasting his resources. And the fourth one is the data, which we are talking about. How do you know which production uh, or which uh, site in your facility is producing how much waste and what kind of waste? What is the biggest burden um, in your waste collection overally? And whether you should actually uh, take care of all the costs related to processing of the waste, or by having this data, you can come to your supplier and discuss with them that, okay, um, you, you, give, you produce too much waste for my production line. You need to change your packaging material, your protection material. You need to tackle uh, you know, this issue. Otherwise, I will raise, uh, I will, you know, ask you to bear those costs. You know, you need to lower the prices or, you know, you need to handle the waste. So to have a better quality of service, you need to use less resources. And uh, this way, this way it will give you, you know, much better, you know, cost structure, uh, much, much better e efficiency, and you'll be more optimized uh, with your waste collection. Why we have developed all this and, um, I would like to mention that at the beginning is that we have a great partner, um, great customer, uh, which is in Germany. And uh, it's, it's a big uh, manufacturer um, of industrial and automotive equipment um, with headquarters in the US. And we populated two factories with our system. Um, customer is very satisfied. And we are having a great reference. Um, it's working, you know, uh, along there, all the shifts. We are seeing their data uh, is flowing in and out uh, very efficiently, and they are very satisfied with what we have done for them and uh, how we tackled uh, this problem. And we can do the same for you. We can do the same for your customers. So what kind of problems we actually tackle with our solutions? So the first one I mentioned, just in time waste collection, you go there when you need to go there. And then automated route scheduling. You don't need the guy to uh, see, okay, okay, that bin is full and the, the, the other bin is full. Um, the paint shop has a, has a paint to be collected. Um, how should I, when should I go there? How should I do that? Everything needs to be automated. And by having that automation, the person responsible for the collection of waste, no need to think. He just goes and he goes from uh, point to point as we arrange and, um, he basically has a very uh, comfort job of uh, following the instruction as is uh, in the factory. Uh, we also help them to calculate the fastest route um, in the factory, which is very important as well. You don't want to have that uh, uh, truck or this uh, small train to be collecting, um, you know, to spend too much time on collecting through different uh, areas of the production line. And the same would be if you are collecting at the airport or the big facilities or logistic centers, you need to know your floor plan, you need to know where to go and the software will automate everything for you. The other, the other thing is that, uh, you know, we tackled the reporting of the fullness twice. Uh, we want to confirm the situation when uh, the collection person or service is requested to do collection and then after he actually collects it, whether the data is matching. Uh, having a very uh, sufficient way to do that uh, just by a single click uh, is very, very uh, you know, clean and neat solution uh, which we have created. Uh, the second and that, the, other, the other one would be a gathering feedback while on the route. This is very important because uh, 
during the collection of the waste, there are some regulations within the production facility. There are some uh, situations that can happen. Uh, all those need to be reported. For example, if the, if the certain bin is inaccessible or if there is a contamination in a recycling bin, that needs to be uh, registered because that treatment of the waste would need to be uh, done differently. Uh, or, you know, the bin is broken, uh, needs to go for service, or, uh, you know, even the notification that, okay, I got reported a full bin, but it's not actually full. Um, and was the reason, maybe something go, went wrong or someone did something wrong, you know. So these are the things that can be actually reported uh, from our system into our platform directly. Uh, creating so much, accumulating so much data, we can actually analyze the data per bin, per route and per driver um, in our management reports. And uh, we can also feed the live update and notification if there are some unexpected events. So something, something happens on the production line, some logic needs to change, we can modify it, um, something, something that needs to be adjusted um, as well. Uh, those are the things that are uh, very important throughout the process um, in manufacturing or you know, facility management. The big thing for quality managers, and that's the biggest headache as well for every quality manager uh, in certain facility or factory, is the 5S implementation. Every, everything needs to be sorted, arranged, uh, neat, and um, you know, there are processes which can, it can be a book about 5S, but uh, having a solution like this uh, is actually solving really big portion of uh, you know maintaining the cleanliness in the factory. So uh, this is very this is very important also for uh, really you know quality managers that go deep into the 5S implementation. And you know we don't want to make it a burden. We are not. Uh, this system needs to be as simple as possible and as fast implemented as possible. So uh, we can have it up and running in just seven working days after we know all the rules and all the hardware um, you know, is, uh, is delivered to the factory. So uh, this, is, this is our approach and we tackled the solution as you can see it now here. So we have very, very simple system composed of you know, just few models or modules. The first one is the hardware. You need to get a notification of whether the bin is full or not. You can tackle this problem with hardware um, manually. So having a kind of click button, uh, the person in the assembly line or the person in the hospital just uh, clicks the button and the notification will come uh, to the service people that, okay, this bin needs to be collected. Um, the notification comes into our platform and our platform processes. So uh, in, in the case of button, it's always 100%. So we assume that uh, they only press it once the bin is full. Of course, validation afterwards um, can uh, strengthen the training to the people and so that they will follow the instructions as, as it is. The second way and the most uh, you know, clean way is to not having any human uh, involvement on the definition of whether those bins are full or not by uh, deploying Sensonel sensors. So we can use sen Sensonel ultrasonic sensors to feedback the data to our platform to arrange the collection, uh, you know, life within the system. So automated route planning is activated right when uh, there is a reported bin uh, into our system. So we, we may uh, set a rule that, for example, the, the vehicle or the collection person can handle up to two or three bins. So in a groups of two or three bins, uh, the collection is being executed. So based on the logic as uh, you know, customer would pre-select, we will define uh, this logic into the system and automated routes are created. And this is the target. We want to create a number of tasks uh, which enable just in type collection. You don't want to wait uh, two hours or you cannot wait three hours for that to be collected, uh, the operator would have nowhere to place uh, his excess waste. So let's talk about uh, smart buttons and smart sensors a little bit. So uh, we have a smart uh, button which uh, can give you manual fullness notification. Again, it can be deployed on different kinds of networks. So we can work primarily on Zigbox, or we can select a LoRa one, or we can select um, NB IoT one. 
So depending on the connectivity available within the facility, uh, we can adjust the hardware. We can work with uh, the hardware that would enable um, this kind of uh, this kind of uh, um, uh, functionality. And another way is to use ultrasonic sensors that will provide you not only a fill level, but it can also give you a notification when the bin is emptied. So every time the bin is emptied uh, the, through the data and another ultrasonic measurement, we can get that confirmation. Uh, with the bins that are being, let's say, tilted onto the trucks, we can also recognize uh, the tilt or the movement of the bin uh, with the accelerometer inside and uh, therefore confirm the collection by the hardware as well. So uh, these are the hardware portions that would uh, enable the functionality which I discussed. Of course, if you would like to get more insights and deeper uh, dive into the hardware part, uh, we can uh, get to you uh, later on offline. Please write us in a message and we can have a discussion. Okay, let's look into the system. So once there is a, once there is a, a reported full bin in the facility, the system automatically generates the route. We, of course, need to have a certain plan of the facility and define where that vehicle or those service people can actually walk. You cannot walk in every single section of the production line or facility. So we need to predefine these routes. And also we need to predefine where are the locations of those bins. Uh, so this is, uh, this is how it looks in the system. Uh, the routes are defined and they are then flowing uh, to the driver. And the driver has a predefined uh, route, uh, basically turn by turn um, to see how he should actually uh, approach the collection. And once he once he comes to the spot, uh, he will also see he will also see what kind of bins he has uh, to collect. So we can input to the system different kinds of bins, different uh, colors for different commodities. Uh, even it can be barrels uh, and so on. So uh, this can be all predefined. So he actually knows what kind of equipment to take in case there is some special treatment needed. And after he comes to the point to the spot, he also can click onto certain bin. And he defines that, OK, it was just 66% full, or it was not 100% full, or it was 100% full. So those are the data that uh, that can double confirm um, the system notification and the calculation. Again, uh, the feedback can be also, also provided uh, from the driver. So uh, how the cleaning crew is working. So uh, you can see, and I have already shown you one of the screens. Uh, it's, it's as simple as this. It's just three windows. The first window, collection to-do list, where you go. And uh, what is the order? So we usually pri prioritize this uh, by the time, but also you can set that, okay, for example, paint shop needs to uh, you know go and pick up excess paint every two hours or uh, excess oil in certain station every, uh, one week you know in certain hour so we can input all those logical requests inside and those routes and tasks are generated uh, to the collection person and the cleaning crew so they will have a to-do list and they will go task by task um, in the order and uh, then once they do the collection um, they can define the fill level so as you can see uh, in this portion they can define the fill level when they were collecting it. They can even take a picture of the particular bin or situation um, you know, with the bin there. So especially the most common feedback we are actually receiving uh, from, the, from the production line, which we have implemented the system in, is the contamination of the bins. Uh, someone has his snack and uh, throw the garbage inside or uh, into the paper, paper bins, which is not allowed. And, uh, the feedback can actually uh, then feedback to the managers and deal with this situation. All right, after, afterwards, the managers uh, come to place. So what the managers would like to see? They would like to see the data. They would like to see uh, how many times I went to this particular uh, production uh, assembly spot or um, this particular bin in this location. 
um, it can be a, a huge facility, um, like a, like a big, for example, power plant or you know even the a mall airport. You want to know how many times uh, those beans were collected. This actually gives you a data how much waste you collected in volume. So uh, have you have you been to the one place is generating you, for example, fifty percent more waste than the other one? Then you can review that. Okay, what kind of components I'm I'm uh, assembling? I am assembling here. Maybe I need to contact my supplier to reduce the amount of waste, or you know, do different steps to actually work towards your kind of zero waste policies. Uh, the same would be in the facility management. If you have a certain spot is is generating more waste, then you can actually decide whether you should input more uh, capacity in that area as well. Uh, everything. Uh, can be actually very nicely displayed in uh, very simple management dashboards, uh, which then you know can give a very you know um, very convenient tool for decision uh, of the management about you know uh, the planning, deployment, doing some changes into the system, and actually uh, executing those uh, zero waste policies which they usually uh, do have, or even the lean lean manufacturing policies. Uh, that uh, that are being implemented as well. All right, so seven days from uh, from start to the end. Uh, after you receive the devices, we'll do all the setup. Uh, we upload uh, the layout of the facility. We help you to uh, place the bins in, define the routes uh, or the or the you know walking uh, walking uh, pathways uh, where the cleaning crew uh, can go, and uh, we can even do multi-floor uh, selections as well, if we are talking about interior interior facilities, but also we can work on exterior or combination of interior and exterior as well. Um, then apart from that, you also can define the rules. So as I mentioned, the logic of the collection, how, how often you need to go to pick up some uh, dangerous uh, waste materials, how often you go to, uh, for example, collect glass material. If you have certain um, rules, we can actually automate those, and we don't need to have any hardware implemented in those locations. But you just use an automated uh, system to actually generate the task for the cleaning crew. Uh, and then, of course, uh, you would have an irregular uh, waste or waste that is generating out of the, uh, you know, some speed of the production or uh, you know, like really random, random kind of collection those would actually uh, need a sensor or a button uh, that would enable you to get the data about the full uh, fullness level. All right, so we are almost in, in the end. So where we can implement these, I mentioned, uh, you know, the use cases are endless and these are just some of those which, uh, you know, we can think of. So it can be retail, it can be offices. Airports are a great example because you would have an uh, interior interior uh, waste management plus exterior waste management uh, we within our system we can actually combine the whole solution for you and uh, you can have a really efficient uh, waste collection and just make sure that you know you don't have overfilled bins there is nothing worse than uh, having being at the airport with um, some snack uh, you just finished you have nowhere to put it in or you don't want to touch the bin in these times uh, because it's contaminated you don't want to uh, you know, push something into the bin because it's overflown. A campus, it can be museums, galleries, and as I mentioned, hospital is a great use case because you really uh, don't have a scheduled waste there. It's really depending on the, um, you know, situation in the hospital with, uh, with the cases, with the injuries, surgeries, et cetera, uh, to make sure that, you know, with the enabling of the hardware, you actually get uh, the software working for you, and you get that uh, you get that uh, waste cleaned up, and you keep uh, very good operational efficiency. All right. So, do we have any questions? I think uh, there are some questions here. Uh, well, look at this. Uh, whether there is something like this? Uh, maybe um, my colleague already replied some. Um, right. Have you considered to utilize your solution as a waste prevention tool? Well, waste prevention uh, can be can be a good use case actually, but we need to uh, really 
understand uh, what would be the characteristic of that environment, how how we would like to um, implement those policies and uh, make sure that in certain location or certain spot, the waste is not um, accumulating or how to prevent someone dropping something in there. So uh, again, we need to uh, figure out the way to uh, use certain type of hardware uh, to feedback us this information. And then uh, within the system, of course, uh, uh, then uh, notice the authorities or cleaning people that, okay, something like this uh, was happening. So please discuss uh, with us uh, offline. We'll be happy to uh, explore such a use case if you have such. Okay, how do you manage a uh, guarantee network availability within the factory? So the messages sent by a sensor are properly received by the platform. All right, that's a good question. Uh, we actually, as I, as I mentioned, our devices um, are uh, you know, network agnostic. So uh, first, first thing we, is that we will check what is the available network within that particular area. So is there NB-IoT? or NB-IoT is not fully covered within that particular location. OK, we need to uh, switch to different technology. So let's explore, for example, Zigfox. OK, we can have a, a simple, we can si have a simple base station, um, those indoor base stations uh, you know, uh, installed in the factory. We can do that ourselves, or we can bring our local partner uh, to do that uh, for us as well. Um, and set it up for the whole facility, and uh, it's uh, you know very simple. And I believe that within those seven days is no problem. Um, this enablement is really fast. Um, another option is LoRa. Uh, there will be uh, you know LoRa networks, or the LoRa can be even you know deployed uh, again separately, similarly to Sigfox, uh, to provide the connectivity within the area. So I think with current options, um, it's quite flexible. Uh, we don't want to get on any company Wi-Fi, it's not a very good solution. We don't consider it very stable because then we are dependent on uh, the stability of the network uh, of, or Wi-Fi uh, within that particular location. Um, but uh, we prefer really to work on these low power uh, networks within uh, the facilities. All right, so I think there was no other question. So please, if you have more questions, uh, just post them there. We'll try to reply them, uh, you know, uh, as soon as possible. Um, if you have uh, more detailed questions and you would like to discuss, uh, please, um, you know, send us an email, and uh, we'll uh, assign a salesperson to contact you right away. I would like to also um, give you information about our next webinar. Uh, so it will be uh, our CEO, Martin Basila, Martin Basila himself, uh, to present our new uh, solution for uh, service monitoring device for waste trucks. So uh, uh, we have the full solution that actually uh, closing the loop of uh, uh, our, our ecosystem. And uh, it's a great solution for you to uh, understand and uh, talk and hear hear about so uh please uh join us for this webinar uh if you have no available time in that particular um day on that particular day or time please feel free to watch it um from the recording on youtube and give us the feedback it would be great to hear your feedback on that as well um, again we'll be available on emails as well or just call uh call us if you if you know particular representative in Sanzonio already, or contact us on LinkedIn as well. We are happy to reply you there as well. All right, thanks a lot. Uh, I'm glad that um, you uh, went with me towards the end of the presentation and hope you liked it. Please give us a feedback uh, how you liked our webinars. Um, also, you can uh, write in the feedback in the comments. We'll be glad uh, for that. And hopefully we'll prepare more and more of these for you so you can understand the technology and uh, drive the innovation together with us and spread the uh, information to your uh, customers or uh, to your facilities um, as well. So uh, thanks a lot and um, have a great rest of the day.